A blessed evening to all of you, brothers and sisters, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. Today is Monday within the octave of Easter. Our Mass Presider is Reverend Father Benigno Beltran SVD, Associate Priest of the Shrine. Our Eucharistic celebration and devotion to the Holy Spirit will now begin. of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, especially during this Easter season. Lord Jesus, by your rising from the dead, you conquered death and sin. Lord of mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, by your rising from the dead, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, by your rising from the dead, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the heart. people of goodwill we praise you we bless you we adore you we glorify you we give you thanks for your great glory lord god heavenly king o god almighty father lord jesus christ only begotten son lord god lamb of god son of the father you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us you take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the heart. God, 
who give constant increase to your church by new offspring. Grant that your servants may hold fast in their lives to the sacrament they have received in faith. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice and proclaimed, You who are Jews, indeed all of you staying in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and listen to my words. You who are children of Israel, hear these words. Jesus, the Nazarene, was a man commended to you by God with mighty deeds, wonders, and signs, which God worked through him in your midst, as you yourselves know. This man, delivered up by the set plan and foreknowledge of God, you killed, using lawless men to crucify him. But God raised him up, releasing him from the throes of death, because it was impossible for him to be held by it. For David says of him, I saw the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand I shall not be disturbed. Therefore my heart has been glad and my tongue has exalted. My flesh too will dwell in hope because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld nor will you suffer your Holy One to see corruption. You have made known to me the paths of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence. My brothers, one can confidently say to you about the patriarch David that he died and was buried, and his tomb is in our midst to this day. But since he was a prophet and knew that God had sworn an oath to him that he would set one of his descendants upon his throne, he foresaw and spoke of the resurrection of the Christ, that neither was he abandoned to the netherworld, nor did his flesh see corruption. God raised this Jesus of this we are all witnesses. Exalted at the right hand of God, he poured forth the promise of the Holy Spirit that he received from the Father, as you both see and hear. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my Lord are you, O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup. You it is who hold fast my lot. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night, my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Therefore, my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body too abides in confidence because he will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your faithful one to undergo corruption. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. 
you will show me the path to life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Please stand to honor the Holy Gospel. Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went away quickly from the tomb, fearful yet overjoyed, and ran to announce the news to his disciples. And behold, Jesus met them on their way and greeted them. They approached, embraced his feet, and did him homage. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go tell my brothers to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. While they were going, some of the guard went to the city, told the chief priests all that had happened. The chief priests assembled with the elders and took counsel. Then they gave a large sum of money to the soldiers, telling them, You are to say, His disciples came by night and stole him, while we were asleep. And if this gets to the ears of the governor, we will satisfy him and keep you out of trouble. The soldiers took the money and did as they were instructed. And this story has circulated among the Jews to the present day. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good evening. When there's a criminal case, the defendant goes to court, files a suit against the plaintiff, the accused, then they will have lawyers, and then they will have witnesses. Then the judge will pronounce judgment on whether the case is valid or not. Then also pronounces judgment if the defendant is found guilty. So witnesses are very important even now. But during the time of Jesus, women were not accepted as witnesses in a court of law. They did not trust women. They are too emotional, or they are not very logical. They, so they did not trust women. To the gospel today, the Lord chose women to be the first witnesses of his resurrection and to give witness to the others, to the disciples who ran away. Only St. John was left take, to take care of the Blessed Virgin. So Jesus said to the women, Do not be afraid. Go tell my brothers to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. Malalim ang ibig sabihin nito. Na in a culture for centuries, where women were not 
accepted as witnesses in a court of law, God chose women to be the first witnesses of the resurrection. And behold, Jesus met them on their way and greeted them. Told them to give witness to his cowardly disciples that he rose again and he will meet them in Galilee. There is also a message of the Catholic Church. You see, we are not very logical, not only words, but there are rituals and symbols, there are scandals and incense and images. Because in the yin yang philosophy, the yin as the female principle is more into sensuousness, subtlety, intuition, mystery. The yang, yin yang, the yang principle is aggressive, rational, too rational. So it's darkness and light according to the I Ching in Chinese philosophy. My message was already declared by St. Augustine in the 4th century. More than 1,600 years ago, St. Augustine, who was very patriarchal, looked down on women also. But he said, Coram Deo Omnes Anima Femina. Ano ibig sabihin? Before God, every soul is feminine. Sa harap ng Diyos, ang lahat ng kaluluwa, makababae. Ang lalo niya. Kasi, masabi nga, you could not meet God by logic alone. You need mystery and silence, transcendence, intuition. Kaya kung ilalogic mo lagi yung Diyos, eh hindi mo matatagpuan. Pag sinabi mo kagaya ni Thomas, pag hindi ko nakita, hindi ako maniniwala. Eh wala ka na. Hindi mo makikita yung Diyos, pure spirit yan eh. There are other ways of approaching God that women are very good at. Yung maraming nagsisimba, mga babae, malapit sila doon sa paghihintay. Eh, si St. Augustine, nagtawa nga sa sarili niya dahil nagdasal daw siya. God, give me patience right now. Yung lalaking lalaki yan. Yung babae maghihintay. Sana yan silang maghintay ng siyam na buwan eh, bago isilang yung sanggol nila. Maghihintay ka sa Diyos. Waiting on God. Hindi mo siya maaring sabihan, narito ako ngayon sa harap mo, bigay mo lahat yung aking hinihingi. Eh, ikaw na ang Diyos. Yung mga babae, naghihintay. Yung mga babae, kahit hindi masyadong maliwanag, alam nila, papunta pa rin tayo dyan. Yung mga lalaki, laging nagdidibati yan eh, logic, rationality. Meron nga sana akong webpage. Ta- magtanong kay Father Ben, yung tungkol sa ating doktrina, tungkol sa ating pananampalataya, anong kahulugan ng ating liturgy. Sasara ko na dahil tinadtad ng dibate ng mga born again at saka mga iglesia ni Kristo na gusto lang patunayan na mali ako. Ano raw? Translation ng Bible ang aking ginagamit. Sabi ko, hindi translation. Greek eh. Yung lingwahe na ginamit ni San Juan, 
ni San Mateo, ni San Pablo, pagsulat ng New Testament, Grego. So kalimutan mo na yo-yo, akala mo yon ang tama, eh, hindi yan ang original. So parang ganan ang ang debate na eh, hindi na yan paghanap ng katotohanan eh. Pinapataw mo na sa akin yung mga pananampalataya na ikaw lang may ala, tatlong tatlong pung taon na kung nagturo kung ano ang official teaching of the church tapos sasabihin mo sinasamba namin si Maria sumasamba kami sa mga Diyos Diyosan gawa gawa mo na lang yan ganyan ang mga lalaki wala pa akong babaeng nakilala na mahilig magdibate yung sa mga ganyan yung mga babae huwag ka nang makipagdibate dyan pag tinanong ka dyan, asawa ka bakit may ibang lipstick yung kwelyo ng anak? Lumuhod ka na lang at humingi ng patawad, hindi ka mananalo. Pero yung debate na logical, mathematical, yung sa Bible, mga lalaki, hindi yan ang pamamaraan para mahanap ang Diyos. Kakasamaan lang ng loob. Hindi ko na makalimutan, mayroong isang pastor Seminarista pa ako, nag-aaral ako ng philosophy at saka logic. Dibati kami. Ngayon wala siyang masagot. Pero, we never became friends again. Namatay na lang daw, palagi pa rin inaalaala kung sino yung seminarista na nakipagdibati sa kanya. Eh, hindi, maganda yun. Sabay-sabay tayo, maghanap ng katotohanan. Hindi dibate ang pamamaraan para marating natin ang Diyos. Silence. Mystery. Transcendence. Magaling ang mga babae dyan. Kaya nasabi ni St. Augustine, Coram Deo, Omnis, Anima, Femina. Before God, every soul is feminine. So, sabi ni Carl Gustav yung, hindi rin maganda yung ang mga babae na masyadong malamya na hindi na paglalaban yung kanilang katarungan, dapat matuto din sila sa mga lalaki. Yung mga lalaki din, lalo na sa paghahanap ng Diyos, ay matuto din ng maghintay, waiting on God. Silence, huwag kang magdidikta sa Panginoon kung ano ang dadada. Kasi yung mga babae, nurturing, mga ganyan yan. So, bakit pinili ng Diyos na ang unang magbigay patutuo sa muling pagkabuhay ni Jesus, sa pagtagumpay ni Jesus laban sa kamatayan at kadiliman ay mga babae? Sagot ni St. Agustin, Coram Deo, Omnes Anima Femina. So, titignan natin ngayon. Ano ba ang gusto ng Diyos sa atin? Na may babae at saka lalaki talaga eh. May masculine at feminine principles din ang evolution. Ang konkreto niyan, yung ating ekonomiya, yung ating politika, yung ating social structure, masyadong masculine. Wala inject natin ng feminine principle, sabi ni Tayar de Sherda. Kung hindi, magkakagulo tayo. Tingnan mo na lang yung ating ekonomiya na aggressive masyado, competitive masyado, may ilan na napakayaman, bilyonaryo, 30 million ang walang kinakain, lalo na ngayong may COVID. Umaabot ng 15,000 minsan yung bagong cases ng COVID. Pero tingnan mo sa mundo, yung mga bansa na babae ang nangunguna nasupo nila ang COVID Germany, Angela Merkel Taiwan, nakalimutan ko na ang pangalan pero may pinalabas ang Taiwan halos normal ang buhay nila ron nakamas pero bukas lahat hindi bumabagsak ang ekonomiya ay eh, mayaman na nabansa yan tayo, mas lalo tayong babagsak extend na naman New Zealand, babae ang leader nurturing Compassion. Walang COVID sa New Zealand. Sa Iceland, ganun din. 
So may article na yung mga babae na uh, heads of state, ang kanilang COVID response maganda. Kasi hindi mo mababaril yung COVID eh. Kung utak pulbura ka na parang lalaki, pagkatapos ganyan ang ano mo, draconian laws, pagkatapos nakakalusot naman yung iba, tataas ang bilang ng ating. So, babalikan ko ang mensahe. Sa evolution, sabi ng mga Chinese, pati yung buong universe, may feminine at masculine principles. Dapat mag-harmonize yan. Dapat mag-balance yan. Kasi kung masyadong masculine yan, kagaya ng nangyayari ngayon, mahihirapan tayo. Kung masyadong feminine din yan, na wala ng masculine uh, wa influence, mahihirapan din ang ating paglakbay patungo sa kinabukasan. Kaya manalangin tayo ngayon na sana ang Diyos na pumili na mga babae bilang magbibigay patutuo sa resurrection ng kanyang anak na mahahanap lang in silence, in patience, in mystery, in intuition, in transcendent. Sana liwanagan tayo ng Espiritu so that we can create a world na harmony, balance ang masculine at feminine principle. Kung hindi, mahihirapan tayo. Kaya, St. Mary Magdalene, nananalangin kami sa iyo. Itong ibang Mary, hindi natin kilala kung sino ito, manalangin din tayo. Pero higit sa lahat, manalangin tayo sa mahal na birhen. Sa katuliko, may mahal na birhin eh. Hindi natin makakalimutan ang feminine principle kahit hindi natin na isa sa buhay dahil masyadong masculine ang ating social structures. Manalangin tayo sa mahal na birhin. Health of the sick. Na yung compassion, yung nurturance, yung empathy magagamit para masugpo natin ang COVID-19. Magiging maayos ang paglalakbay natin sa kinabukasan dahil may harmony ang masculine and feminine principle. At magkakaroon ng katarungan, kapayapaan, pagtatangkol sa kalikasan dito sa ating mundo. Our common home, sabi ni Pope Francis. Prayers of the faithful. Let us present our needs to God our Father, rejoicing because Christ's triumph over death and darkness and entered into his glory. Let our response be Victorious God, bless us. Victorious God, bless us that the church may be renewed in the risen Christ and bring the message of hope and love to all the world. We pray. Victorious God, bless us. That government officials may not fear to live by the truth. We pray. Victorious God, bless us. That the peace of our risen Lord may dwell in our hearts and in our homes and spread throughout the world. We pray. Victorious God, bless us. That we as a community may share the joyous news of the resurrection with those we meet each day. We pray. Victorious God, bless us. For the medical experts, scientists and researchers that they may be able to find cure as soon as possible so that those already infected will be healed and there will be no more further transmission we pray victorious god bless us that the faithful departed having died with christ may share in his glory we pray Victorious God, bless us. 
In silence, let us pray for our personal intentions. We pray. Victorious God, bless us. God our Father, we pray that the joy of Easter may penetrate our minds and our hearts, bring us closer to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Sisters and brothers, my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Accept graciously, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain an ending happiness to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, a duty in our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to praise you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death. By rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as the acclaim. Thank you. 
Lord, you are holy indeed, the fount of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, so that sin may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of eternal salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis of Pope, Onesto of Bishop, and all the members of your one holy Catholic and apostolic church. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of their resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, health of the sick, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to our Father in heaven in the prayer our risen Lord himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and the unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of christ 
peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. This is the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The risen Lord who conquered death and sin. Happy are those who accept this invitation to eat at his table. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the grace of this Paschal Sacrament abound in our minds, we pray, O Lord, and make those you have set on the way of eternal salvation worthy of your gifts to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Devotion to the Holy Spirit Prayer service in honor to the Holy Spirit The Spirit of God bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. The Spirit of His Son, who cries, Abba. What no eye has seen or heard, nor the human heart conceived, the things God has prepared for those who love Him. He has revealed to us through His Spirit. He has put His seal upon us and given us His Spirit in our hearts, the Father of the poor and light of our hearts, our comfort in sorrow, our strength in tribulation. Great is, greater is he who is in us than he who is in this world. We have been sealed with the Holy Spirit for the day of redemption. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power and love. The spirit of his Son in our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father, we know that we abide in God and God in us because He has given us His own Spirit, the fountain of life, wisdom, and holiness, the sevenfold gift of the Father. We are no longer under the law of old because we live by the Spirit. He has put His law of love into our minds and written it in our hearts. Let us be eager to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit, just as we were called to the one hope that belongs to our call, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of us all, who is above all, and through all and in all. The Holy Spirit came from the throne of God and entered invisibly into the hearts of the apostles. How good and how kind, Lord, is your Spirit in us. Lord, grant us an increase of faith and let the light of the Holy Spirit fill us always. Then we will grasp more fully all the things that Jesus has told us. Lord Jesus, raised on the cross, you poured out the water of rebirth for the life of the world. Strengthen the life of all people with the gift of the Spirit. Raised up to God's right hand, you bestowed the Father's gift on the believing community. Renew us now in that same spirit of might and love. Empowered by your spirit, you sent your apostles into all the world to make all people, 
your disciples. Grant us today a true renewal in that same spirit, that we may be your witness to all people in every land. In the silence of our hearts, let us now present to God our petitions and needs in the power of the Holy Spirit. Lord God, you sanctify your church in every race and nation by the mystery of the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Stir up your power and renew your gifts for all humankind. Fulfill now in the hearts of your faithful what you accomplished when the gospel was first preached on earth. Almighty Father, let the splendor of your glory shine upon us. May Christ, who is light from your light, strengthen by the illumination of the Holy Spirit the hearts of all those who have received the divine adoption as God's children. This we ask through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Oratio Imperata Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people to ask to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, and protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsud, pray for us. Saints Arnold Johnson and Joseph Reinadovitz, pray for us. Genetoque, laus 
blessed you bless you salus honor virtus quoque sit et benedictio procedenti avotro You have given them bread from heaven. Containing in itself all sweetness. Let us pray. O God, in this wonderful sacrament, you have left us a memorial of your passion. Grant us, we pray, so to venerate the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that we may ever feel within us the fruit of your redemption. You live and rule world without end. Amen. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus and the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Comforter. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Regina Celi Leitare Alleluia Chia 